Have you ever been invited to an event or an activity and you really didn't know what to wear? Or have you ever received an invitation to an event and you weren't sure if your little black dress was appropriate? If you answered yes to either of those questions, then this video is for you. Today, we're talking about dress codes. Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, hello and welcome. My name is Robin and I'm so happy to have you here. And if you're already subscribed, welcome back. This is the next video in the Profix Style 101 series. And like I stated, we're talking about dress codes. And like every other video, I'm going to apologize in advance for looking down at my iPad. I want to make sure that I'm passing on all the information that I found on this topic and I don't want to mess anything up. So let's talk about dress codes and I'm going to start with defining what a dress code is. And dress codes are a set of rules specifying the required manner of dress at a particular office, club, event, or activity. So I'm going to break down the dress code so you'll never feel like you don't know what to wear to a particular event or activity or you don't feel like you're overdressed or underdressed for a particular activity. I think it's really important to know different dress codes because if you are overdressed, you probably will feel out of place. And if you're underdressed, you may feel uncomfortable, which makes you feel a little less confident about what you're wearing and you don't ever want to feel like that so it's really important to just know when you see this dress code on an invitation or based on what you know historically about an event this is how you should dress and so like most of you if you're anything like me when you have a question or you need a um an answer you jump on the internet primarily google maybe youtube or pinterest and you type in what is whatever. So in this particular event, for this particular case, it was what are dress codes. And the first blog post that I found was by Emily Post, which if you're into etiquette and things like that, probably comes as no surprise to you. But I wanted to make sure that you know everything you need to know about a certain topic. And I want to provide you with just with the facts, not just my spin or take on a particular topic. So what are the different dress codes? I'm going to start with casual dress code. So when the invitation calls for a casual dress code, it means that you're expected to be dressed informal and comfortable, but clean and professional as well. And I think it's really important to hear the clean and professional, because even though the event or activity may not be in an office setting, you may not encounter your boss or any of your co-workers professional typically means that you're not um, dressed scantily or you're not wearing super duper short anything super duper tight anything and you want to look clean you want to be dressed in a way that you would feel comfortable if you ran into your boss or your co-worker at the event or activity that you're at so make sure that even when you're casually dressed specifically for an event or activity that your attire is comfortable but clean and professional as well this is the type of event if I received an invitation and the attire calls for casual dress. This is the event when I would probably pull out a white button down and jeans, which is my go-to uniform. Or I would probably probably wear a really cute dress because I think that dresses are extremely feminine. I love wearing dresses and they're very typically easy to just throw on and run out the door. So when you're thinking of casual dress codes, think about jeans, dresses, skirts, button down shirts, t-shirts, no graphics or anything like that, just a simple t-shirt, um, and khakis. And so the next dress code is a dressy casual dress code. And when the invitation calls for a dressy casual dress code, there is a versatile balance between formal and casual. This is the ideal choice for networking or socializing after work, fundraisers, or dinners at a nice restaurant. This is my favorite dress code. I love a blazer and jeans, and it's easy for me to dress this look up to fit a particular occasion. So when you think of a dressy casual dress code, think of a dress, think of wearing a dress, 
a skirt and a nice top, not a t-shirt, casual pantsuit, and jeans and a nice top, also not a t-shirt. So this is where you pull out your your pretty blouses. If you have um, tops that have blouse and sleeves or uh, ruffle details or a bow or tie neck detail, that's when you pull those out for dressy, casual events or activities. Next up is semi-formal. And when the invitation calls for a semi-formal dress code, it means that you're expected to be more formal than what you will wear in an office, but slightly less formal than what you would wear to a formal event or activity. Do keep in mind that if the event is later than 6 o'clock in the evening, you'll want to err on the side of formality. This screams cocktail to me. This is when I would wear my favorite cocktail dress or my little black dress and more than likely a killer stiletto. So think of your little black dress, uh, dressy separates or a cocktail dress. Um, and I hope I'm in inserting pictures here. I remember uh, for my 40th birthday, some friends and I went to this restaurant downtown Huntsville. I had never been before, but it was my 40th birthday and I wanted to be extremely cute. And so instead of wearing a little black dress because I wear black a lot, I opted for a really beautiful navy cocktail dress and it was super cute, super sexy, not too much, um, not formal at all, not too casual, not dressy casual, but a semi-formal type um, outfit and I really, really loved it. So again, when you're thinking about semi-formal, I would just think synonymously with cocktail. Next up, we have business formal. And when the invitation calls for a business formal dress code, it means that you're expected to wear a suit jacket with matching pants or a skirt or dress. The darker the suit, the more formal. When wearing the, wearing the suit and or dress, make sure that you wear hosiery because that's key. When it comes to business formal, although I know a lot of us in the office, I know I'm guilty of this myself, um, you may wear a suit, but you don't wear the hosiery, which is fine for like a business casual um, event or activity or probably depending on where you work. It's definitely appropriate for just every day in the office. But when you're thinking of what to wear to a job interview or if you're going to a luncheon and it's um, with uh, Fortune 500 businesses or um, where tickets are like $75 or something like that, you want to opt to wear hosiery. This is your Sunday's best or that power suit that you will wear to a job interview. I would opt for black because that's my style, but as stated above or as stated earlier, the darker the suit, the more formal. So for business formal attire, think of business style dresses or a suit. And again, your suit could be pants, skirt, or um, a dress with a blazer or suit jacket. Next up, we have business casual. And when the invitation calls for a business casual dress code, it means that you're expected to wear slacks, khakis, or a skirt with a dress shirt, blouse, or polo. Dresses fall into this dress code as well. This would be what I think most of us envision for a work or office setting dress code. So I'm really familiar with this one because I work in an office setting and I love wearing dresses all year round. So I would probably opt for a dress. If I decide to wear pants, then I would then I would then pair those pants with a nice blouse. So when you think of business casual, think of your skirts, khakis, pants with a button down shirt or a blouse or a really nice dress. Next up is black tie. And when the invitation calls for a black tie dress code, it means that you are expected to dress slightly less formal than white tie, but it's more formal than business attire. It is the most common formal dress code for events such as weddings, proms, formal dinners, and theater. A key word in this description is formal. Formal attire calls for floor length gowns for women. Cocktail attire and formal attire are not the same, so keep that in mind. Although you may get an invitation or you may know um, what is the norm for an event and the dress code, and it may say formal dress code, but you know that people may wear cocktail dresses, then that's okay. But just remember, most of the time when you see formal, formal and cocktail are not the same. When you can 
events where they expect you to wear a floor length gown is a formal event and they're expecting to see you in a floor length gown and not a cocktail dress. This is when I'll take out my beautiful gowns, um, my fancy jewelry and a nice clutch. So think of formal event gowns, again floor length, a dressy cocktail dress or your dressiest little black dress. Again, just making sure that you're familiar with the event if you're not opting for a traditional formal ball length gown. So there were two um, two dress codes that I had never heard of before. And the first one is creative black tie. And when the invitation calls for a creative black tie dress code, it means you are expected to dress with a black tie, found, blah, black tie foundation with room for some creativity and flair. It maintains black tie formality, but it allows for the use of textures, colors, and accessories to personalize your look. So think of, again, your former length, formal length ball gowns, floor length, your dressy cocktail dress, your dressiest little black dress, but also add fun and or unique accessories. And next up, we have black tie optional. And when the black... <laughs> When the invitation calls for a black tie optional dress code, you are given a couple of formal options to choose from. Women can choose from either a formal evening gown, a shorter cocktail dress, or a dressy separate. So like that description just explained, formal evening, evening gowns, dressy cocktail dresses, little black dresses, or dressy separates. And if you're not familiar with dressy separates, the only thing I can think of is at weddings, when you see mother, uh, the mother of the bride, they typically have on like a dressy top or um, jacket with a floor length skirt. That's what I think of when I hear or see the word dressy separates. So last but not least, we have, oh, I'm sorry. Nope. Second to last, um, best of attire. And when the invitation calls for a best of dress code, it means you are expected to dress in cocktail party attire with a festive or festive holiday touch. So think of cocktail dresses, dressy separates, dressy pants, outfits or separates, little black dresses, and feature or feature holiday colors. So um, for me, this is probably when I will pull out like a black satin suit or just a satin pantsuit or something like that. Um, or if it's New Year's Eve or Christmas and then maybe a red velvet suit or a green velvet suit, just something like that. Something fun, but also indicates that you're dressing for um, the holiday or the festive event or activity theme that you are expected to wear for that particular event or activity. And last but not least, the other dress code that I had never heard of before is white tie. And it's also known as full evening dress. It's the most formal of all dress codes. The white tie dress code indicates that guests are high caliber, royal, or have high social standing. So you would wear a formal evening gown, floor length. I'm thinking with this dress code, you definitely don't want to push the buttons. Um, you don't want to try your little black dress or a cocktail dress. You definitely want to wear a full length evening gown or formal evening gown, which is floor length. And long gloves are optional. I don't have any pictures of myself um, for this dress code, but I'll try to find some pictures and hopefully insert them on the screen so that you can have a clear indication of what um, is meant by this dress code. But I would probably just opt for something similar to what you see the royal family wearing um, in the UK or something like that. That's the only type of event or um, people that I think of when I see white tie and full evening dresses like the royals as indicated in the description. So this dress was all, this video was all about dress codes. Um, if you are ever unsure about what you should wear to an event um, based on the dress code, just refer back to this video. I think I've covered every dress code that probably exists unless there's something um, on an invitation that's really specific then it probably falls in one of these dress codes. And if someone inv invites you to 
a party or something like that and it's really themed then i think that's when creative that creative black tie or um black tie optional will probably come in but just make sure that you have this video liked or saved somewhere just in case you need to refer back to it if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you're not already subscribed please hit that subscribe button i would love to have you and until next time i'll talk to you later bye